I'm Norman Allen, and today I'm going to talk about some of the more exotic aspects of walking. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite books, Bruce Chaplin's book, Song Lines, which you'll find on my website in my book list. The song lines are verbal maps that take you across Australia. Each of the clans has its song line, and the song line describes the path taken by the ancestor spirits when they arrived in Dreamtime and the interactions that they did in, in this mythic time. It takes you, it'll take you from landmark to landmark to waterhole. And when you go walkabout, you'll walk through one or two of uh, language groups that tie, tie you together with the people of the whole continent. Chadwin has a, has a wonderful speculation that when our ancestors left the forest for the savannas as the grasslands took over eastern Africa five million years ago, he envisages these troops of nomadic hunter-gatherers with women carrying their, their infants for extended periods of time. And the interaction in this migration He imagines the mother introducing the child to all the things in the environment and that in this walking relationship of mother and child is the cradle of language. As the mother picks up and identifies this bit of spent coal, I think. makes much more sense in the context of the book, Songlines, Bruce Chapman.